Hello, Mr. Johnson. Just come to ask you a few questions. Mr. Johnson? Hello, Mr. Johnson? I can't feel any pulse or breathing. What do I do? So this is a cardiac arrest situation. So you want to put out a cardiac arrest call. You want to call for some help and you want to start CPR. Okay. Can I get some help in here, please? Hi, Jeff. What can I do? Hi. Uh, this is Mr. Johnson. He's in cardiac arrest. Wondering if you could put out a cardiac arrest call, please, yes. and bring the trolley over. Sure. Thank you. Am I doing this right? Yes. So you are carrying out continuous CPR at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. To A&E recess one now. Okay. Thank you. You're compressing the chest at a depth of one third. Okay, thank you. Could you put the pads on, please? Sure. You just keep doing compressions and I will work around you. Okay, thanks. Uh, arrest team is here. Hello, Hi, yeah. Sergio Anesthetics. Hi, arrest Tracy, team. Hi, Hi, my Dan. name's Jack, I'm a junior doctor. Um, Dan, could you take over chest compression? Yeah, do you please? want to count me in there? Yeah, I will. Three, when you two, one, go. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Sergio, yeah. are you happy with the airway? Well, uh, for the so moment, uh, yeah, if you could be on the airway, that'd be great. Yeah. And if we could just get some fluids ready, yes, that'd be brilliant. Fair to a test, Jack. Thank you. Okay, we have a rhythm. I'm not sure what that is. So you want to stop to do a rhythm check? You want to stop CPR to do a rhythm check? Dan, could we stop CPR? We'll yeah. do a rhythm check. And I, this, I'm not sure what that is there. This looks like ventricular fibrillation, which is a shockable rhythm. You want to shock the patient at 150 joules. Okay. Gosh, are you happy to, to live with the shock? I'm happy to live with the shock. Okay, back on the chest. Okay. I'm charging to 150. Okay, Clue so is going. Charging. Okay, we're charged. Everybody clear, please. Oxygen Everybody away. clear from the patient. Off the chest, oxygen away. Delivering shock. Shock delivered. Back up the chest, please. Yeah. Okay, so we're we're back on the chest. This is a man who's had one shot delivered. He's uh, in V-fib by the look of things. I'm going to start working through my H's and T's. So uh, hypoxia, we put some oxygen on him. He's no sign that he's hypoxic. Um, we thought of some hypovolemia. Can we run those fluids, please? The fluids are running now. Thank you very much. Um, I can't remember the other H's. So you want to think about hypo or hyperkalemia? How do you think you might want to assess that? Okay, so I think we need to get a gas, please. Um, are you able to get a gas on this patient? Are you able to get I a gas? Get the gas. Thank you. That would be great. Um, and what's the other H? And the fourth H is hy hypothermia. Okay, um, and can we make sure after we've done the gas, we can take a temperature as well? Jack, it was warm wait 10 and well seconds confused. till two minutes. Okay, so it's 10 seconds till two minutes. Um, at two minutes, we'll be pausing and we'll be doing another rhythm check. Okay, and we're getting the gas and we're checking the temperature in the meantime. Okay, we're at two minutes. Okay, so could we pause CPR and we'll pause for a rhythm check? So that's the same rhythm as previously, which was V-fib. So carry on on the chest, please. Okay, so we've thought of the four H's. We're addressing them. Are you going to them. deliver a shock, Jeff? Uh, sorry, we are, absolutely. Yep. Thank you, I completely forgot to deliver a shock. If you're in charge of the shocking. Okay, I'm going to charge, stay on the chest, please. Charging at 150. Fully charged, everyone up please, oxygen okay. away. I'm clear. Everybody clear, top, middle, bottom, delivering shock. Shock delivered, back on the chest. Okay, so we're back on the chest after two shocks. Both rhythm me? checks have shown like V fit. Are we happy with the uh, airway? Yeah, I've just put an LME down. I'm going to set up for an endotracheal tube. Fantastic. I'm happy at the top, okay? And um, I'm running 100% oxygen for you. Okay, thank you. So we've thought of all our H's. We're now thinking of T's. Um, thrombosis, this man had a PE, but well, there's no sign of it. I'm not sure of the history, so we'll start looking for any of the history sheets. Do you know if any history sheets are available for this man or anyone who knows oh, him? Oh, Cascade's behind you on the bench. So we're thinking of PE, we're thinking of a possible heart attack that may have precipitated this. Oh, thank you okay. very much. And actually this is a 61 year old man who has come in with central crossing chest pain. So a heart attack is the most likely cause that's happened here. Um, in terms of the other T's, uh, I can't remember them. What are they? So have you thought about any toxins? Okay, so it could be toxins. In this case, there's no sign that he's taken any. He's not on any medications that we know of and we're waiting for the gas to come back for a sign of acidosis. And have you thought about tension pneumothorax? So tension pneumothorax is one of the other T's. 
Um, Sergio, would you mind listening to the chest? Make sure we've got good air entry, please. Jeff, we're ten he's very, seconds he's to very easy off. to bag. Thank you. He's very easy to bag. It makes attention less likely. And the final tea? And, and the final tea will be tamponade. Cardiac okay. tamponade is possible but unlikely in this situation. There's no sign of it. Okay, we're how at two minutes, check for it. We're at how many? Two minutes again. We're at two minutes. Okay. So if we could pause on the chest, please. We'll do another rhythm check. I've got an output. Okay, so we have an output, and to me that looks like a normal rhythm. That looks like a sinus rhythm to me. What do we do now? So now, Jack, you need to think about your post-resuscitation care. What do you think you might want to do for this patient? Okay, so we have re return of spontaneous circulation. We're bagging them okay. Do you think we could get a chest x-ray in particular to check the... Yeah, we will. I'm just going to put an endotracheal tube down and then we'll x-ray after to check the position anyway. That would be great, thank you. We could get a set of observations, please. That would be brilliant. And if we could get a 12 mil ECG, that would yes. be really useful as well. Okay, I'll go and get that. Thank you. Is there anything else I should be thinking about? I think we should be thinking about doing a repeat venous blood gas as well. And we need to think about where this patient is going to go from here. Okay. Thank you. So if we could also do a, another venous blood gas, yes. that would be fine. Um, and in terms of post-resuscitation care, this person has return of spontaneous circulation after cardiac arrest, so we, we should be sending them to ITU or getting in touch with the ITU team. The other thing to be thinking about is we think this man may have had a cardiac arrest, so I would be calling the cardiac team to see if there is a cath lab available. Excellent. That sounds like a very good plan.